Hello everybody, welcome to another video. This one, I'm going to show you how I make better than movie theater popcorn at home. Does not take very long. And I have tweaked this over the last few years and I feel like it is perfect. We are serious about popcorn in my family. Like movie theater popcorn is one of my favorite things. And so I don't go to the movies that often and <laughs> like literally maybe once a year. So I wanna have it more often at home. The last time we went to the movie theater, I was very disappointed because I've become so spoiled with mine. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do it, and I will link everything that I can down below. Um, you definitely could tweak this and make this your own, though. So the star of the show is the silicone popcorn popper. This is like $10 or less at, on Amazon. I'll link the one we have down below. You could even cook in this without oil, but I will tell you, using oil will make it taste better. <laughs> so it's really, really cheap. I also love that it folds down flat for your like storing and your um, cabinets and stuff. So it is going to be what we pop our popcorn in, in the microwave. I've had this for over, let's see, it's probably been almost two years, about a year and a half. Oh no, it's been longer than that. About two years I've had this. It still looks exactly the same as when I got it. And we've made lots of popcorn. The popcorn that is my favorite, so you can use any kind, but this Amish Country popcorn, I get this on Amazon. I like the baby white, extra small and tender. This is so yummy. And I get it by the huge bag. This big bag will last us a long time, but I will say that's not our first bag. We've been, we've been through a full one, several full ones. Um, I like to use butter to cook my popcorn in. You can use um, anything you want or nothing but I think the butter tastes the best. So I use butter. You could use coconut oil, olive oil, vegetable oil. Butter's the best, that's salted butter. And then in terms of choppings, I recently, sorry, my ice maker's dropping ice. Um, I recently found this stuff, Moody Theater Butter Flavored Oil Blend. Now this does not have as many ingredients as I thought. Like it's really few ingredients. So maybe, maybe it's not terrible for you. I don't know. It's pretty calorie and fat heavy because, you know, this stuff is not like the best thing ever for you. But you can use, you don't have to use this. This does make it taste really, really good. And then the only other thing I put on my popcorn is Parmesan cheese. Do not knock it till you try it. It doesn't taste like you would think. It makes it just taste delicious. It doesn't really even taste cheesy to me. It just gives it like a really deep flavor. So that's it. That's all we need. And I'm going to show you how I do it. First thing I do is I put about a tablespoon or so, maybe a little over a tablespoon of butter in the bottom. Come on. In the bottom of the bowl. And then I take my popcorn. I like to do about a third of a cup of kernels. Come on. I like to get my little measuring cup. And you just dump that right in. Okay, so we're gonna microwave this until the popping sounds get like, you know, you know how popcorn is supposed to sound. When they stop popping, they get a couple of seconds in between with no popping. Then we're gonna stop it. Usually about three minutes, maybe 3.15. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on let's see I'll clear that 3 15 and we're going to listen for the popping to stop I used to shake it in the middle but I found that that kind of slows down the the cooking and stops it for too long so I just let it go all right we have just a few seconds left I'm just gonna kind of listen you guys know how to do popcorn surely we're getting very close. All right, now this is gonna be really hot, so I may need both hands to do this. Okay, I just got it out of the oven. Now there's always this weird part that gets a little burned, always. Like, there's always this middle section that has like just a few burned kernels. I don't know why. So I just take my spoon and I get them out. Um, maybe if you take them out sooner, um, it won't happen, but I've kind of played around with this, and there's always just a few in the very center. I think it's my microwave plate 
but literally like that's it. Like the rest of it's perfect. And it's just like a few that burn every time. Okay, so let me show you how I make this taste even better. I mean, it's delicious as it is right now, but we're gonna make it taste like movie theater popcorn. So what I do is I take my movie theater butter and I pour some on. You can do as little as you want, much as you want. Then I take this Parmesan cheese and I pour some of that on. This is the important part. You're gonna stir, <laughs> you're gonna stir and you guys know where I'm going with this. You don't want to have just one part full of flavor. You want all of it to taste good. So I do this a couple of times. I stir it around. Then I take and I put a little bit more. My kids love this, by the way. And then I put a little bit more Parmesan cheese. If you've never tried Parmesan cheese in your popcorn, you are missing out. I had never heard of it till recently, and it makes the popcorn so good. So this is looking pretty good for me. If you like it extra buttery, put a little bit more of this stuff. You know, when we go to the movie theater, I feel like we drown it in butter. And um, what I love is this stuff. Like if you were to pour melted butter on your popcorn, it like, I've done that before too. And it kind of makes the popcorn soggy. This stuff doesn't. I've also used like the spray. There's like a spray that like an aerosol can that you can put on your popcorn. That's also really good. And that is it. You guys it took like three minutes. I promise you this is like the best popcorn. It's buttery. It's really small and the popcorn just tastes so good. If you wanted to make it healthier, you could use it with no, you could do no oil or just like a light oil and it's still really, really good. And I know this part is weird, but we just waste like a few kernels. Maybe your microwave won't do that. <laughs> I don't know why mine does that. Anyway, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoy. I will link all this stuff down below and you can try out your homemade popcorn at home.